Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Salen and I'm a learning experience consultant with D2L's Learning and Creative Services. Today I'd like to show you how you can run a virtual conference in D2L's Brightspace. All right, so we're here in the Brightspace platform. Any attendee that logs in will automatically be taken to this landing page where they will be presented with a bunch of different what we call widgets. Uh, these are all have different purposes and effects that we want to include in our conference. Just starting with some of the branding features, we can change out the color options here. We can include different images, uh, swap these things out, remove any of these things. We can add in our own custom links and navigation for different conference features that we want to include. We can include our own association logo here. And of course, we can change the title for the event that we're hosting. Moving down to this great first custom widget, this is our photo banner, uh, which allows us to be able to navigate through different key features within the conference. We can have upcoming speaking events that people are joining for the live sessions or pre-recorded ones. We can have sponsors included in this. We can also have sponsors that have hyperlinks to take them to the different web pages uh, to highlight some of their products and services. Moving along to some of our other widgets, we have a welcome widget here that the first time attendees log into the conference, they will be presented with this modal window that pops up. And this is using our free HTML templates where we can upload videos welcoming them uh, to the conference, key information that they'll need in order to successfully navigate the conference. Uh, and you can include details about all the different conference features that you've provided to them. Uh, this is a great way to minimize initial uh, anxiety and, and minimize the number of questions that you'll get about how to actually uh, work through the initial conference experience. Anytime the attendees want to bring this back up, they can always just hit this blue button as well. Moving on to our navigation and progress through the conference, we are using our visual table of contents, which allows us to quickly uh, flip over these cards and, and see what each one of these modules is. Uh, we've included a number of different sections here that I just want to take a moment to go through. The first is an orientation section where if you don't want to use the welcome widget, you can have attendees start here and we'll look in a few moments at what the, we would contain in that. We also have a series of asynchronous sessions. So these are sessions that have previously been recorded. So you can have these uh, done months in advance if you like. And as soon as attendees register and enter the conference, they have a number of different sessions there waiting for them. Uh, we can include things like discussion forums, live events, uh, all sorts of different things that we'll take a look at in a few moments for this. Also, any conference worth its salt would have some type of live sessions where there's ongoing live opportunities for attendees to ask questions, and this is where they can be found in this module. We've also included networking sessions where uh, people can sit down and get to know each other. They can be dropped in randomly or in specific groups based on topics that they want to discuss. Finally, we have some takeaways. So every conference uh, is all about the swag. And so we want to include things like the PowerPoints, additional PDFs, any other literature and information. We can also include discount codes and things like that for people that are really participating heavily in the conference. And finally, we have our vendor expo, which allows us to have our sponsors have their own space within the conference for people to look at services, products, and different things that they're offering up. Uh, and we'll show you what that looks like in a moment too. Moving along, we have an activity feed, and this is a live feed that ends up going up where I can quickly create posts uh, about ongoing events during the conference. People can add comments, and, and this can be kind of a Facebook type experience. We can also include a custom calendar that allows us to host different events and showcase those to our attendees uh, so that they can jump into each of these sessions that are ongoing throughout. They can click on these different links and jump quickly to custom navigated uh, sessions, whether those are live, whether those are pre-recorded, uh, and when they're ready, they can just jump back into the home page again. Social media is obviously a very important thing at any conference, and we include a Twitter feed uh, here that you can include as your association's Twitter feed so that you can keep people up to date on events. We also have micro-credentials or badges throughout uh, the Brightspace platform, and we can issue these based on participations in different talks, attending sponsored events, 
completing different surveys and things like that. So there's a number of different ways that we can issue some of these badges. Uh, we all know that conference attendees like to get points and, and additional free swag. And so this is an opportunity for you to reward them uh, and gamify your conference a little bit. So at this point, let's jump into our actual conference experience. So by selecting one of these links, I'm taken to our, our table of contents area. And this is where I can uh, you know, access different sections of that course. And in, in the beginning, it'll take us to our getting started at your virtual conference. Learners can select these different links along the left. And this is using, our, again, our free HTML templates. These can be styled however you like. You can add in your own information, including welcome videos and other things to quickly orient your attendees. You can also include things like PDFs uh, to, that can host your conference agendas. These things can be downloaded by the actual participants so that they don't have to uh, you know, keep opening up Brightspace every time they're curious about an upcoming event a month later or something. And finally, we can have things like conference surveys and stuff that allow us to uh, measure feedback from our, our attendees. And these can be put into some of the asynchronous or synchronous sessions, the live events or the pre-recorded ones. We can have these at the beginning of the uh, conference to measure uh, participant interest. We can have these at the end to kind of evaluate a before and after effect. So there's lots of ways that we can use our survey tool that's built into Brightspace to get some reports back so that we can make iterative improvements on our conference experience. For the pre-recorded sessions, these are ones that will already be available to our, our attendees as they come in. And we can organize these by topic, by speaker, by however you want to. Uh, in this case, we've organized this from a speaker that's already pre-recorded a session. And this gentleman will end up uh, having his presentation posted. And then this is followed up through a, a meaningful discussion forum that's posted afterwards. Now, you can have the guest speaker actually moderate these conversations, or you can do this through a, your own administration, or you can leave these to be free form. Uh, and you can ask questions or just say, share your thoughts, engage in the debate, and you can leave it free form for the attendees to be able to kind of bounce ideas off one another and share their thoughts. Moving on to our live sessions, you can see we've got a few different features here. Uh, the first one is a checklist tool. So when I click on that, it takes me to a new window where I'm able to check off the different sessions that I want to attend. And this can set up reminders on the calendar. This can send me emails. There's all sorts of different ways to notify people of upcoming sessions uh, and add these things to their own calendars. Uh, so as I check these things off, you can see that in the background, there will be a notification that gets sent out to me. We can also have live events hosted using our Bongo tool uh, when this is set up properly. In this window here, the, uh, the window would open up and the video would begin and we'd be able to see that live session where we'd be able to add comments, ask questions, those types of things. We can also use Zoom integrations, Microsoft Teams, uh, a variety of different solutions for this. Moving on to the networking sessions, this is where we can also use some of those tools like Bongo or Zoom. Uh, and we can drop people into different groups where they're able to attend sessions throughout the weeks, uh, months of your conference, however long you've decided. Uh, and, and attendees can be dropped in randomly or be assigned to specific groups based on topics. As they get in there, those sessions can be 10 minutes, they can be two hours or however long you'd like really. And they'd be able to allow people to have networking sessions together to discuss ideas. This is also where we can host uh, live roundtable events and things like that. Looking at our takeaways section, this is where we can include PowerPoints from the session speakers. Uh, and this is where we can also start to include some adaptive uh, materials that based on the participation of the attendees, we can give them different things. Uh, so we don't want to hand out absolutely everything to them in a single thing. We want to be more catered to the approach that we have here. Uh, and what's great is that we can set up things like virtual coupon codes for, uh, you know, 10% off with certain services through our, our vendors and, and sponsors. Uh, but we can have these kind of catered based on this tool in the background called release conditions in Brightspace that allow us, if you participate in a discussion, you can get a badge, plus you can get a virtual coupon code. If you attend a live session, you can have access to the PowerPoint, the PDF documents, uh, plus a special web page that, that gives you special access to something. So we can really cater the experience in the takeaway section uh, based on what the attendee has actually done throughout the conference. And it's a great way to kind of really personalize that section for them. 
looking at our final section, this is the expo where our, our sponsors can be uh, presenting their own basic pages uh, of information using our, our free HTML templates. These could be branded exactly to that vendor's uh, you know, look and feel for their brand guidelines. They can include videos of demonstrations uh, that can be viewed asynchronously. Uh, and they can include links to one pagers and different things like that. So there's a lot of different materials that can be included just in an introductory page here. We can also host live events using our Bongo solution, Teams, or Zoom. And that could be a session where the vendor is, is able to really showcase the, the services and products that they have and answer any live questions like they would uh, during a live conference. Finally, if they prefer an asynchronous experience, which is an actual advantage over live conferences, uh, they can use our discussions tool here where uh, attendees can ask questions of the different sponsors uh, and provide contact information and those different things that, that would be really necessary to, uh, to dig into those services and products they're providing. Thank you for watching this video. Please reach out to your D2L contact for more information.